Five times Barbie Mattel shot collectors. Barbie Mattel is not known for being particularly controversial or politically incorrect. However, there have been times when they were able to shock fans with unexpected moves. I'm Gypsy, your favorite doll collector on YouTube. You're watching Broken Dolly TV. Today, I'm going to share five times Barbie Mattel shocked collectors. Number five, announcing the Barbie Evolves. Back in the beginning of 2016, Mattel truly startled the world with a sudden unexpected announcement about evolving Barbie's body shape beyond the usual model pose that we were all used to. They announced their plans to release a curvy silhouette along with the petite and tall Barbies. They started off with the inclusion of these new body types in the upcoming Fashionistas release that year along with some Fashionistas deluxe packs which included additional fashions. Since then, we've enjoyed new articulated versions of these bodies in certain doll lines including the collectible movie characters BMR 1959 which also give us all four body shapes in made to move form along with the Harlem Theater Collection and some other options beyond the fashionistas. Number 4. Made to Move Barbies Adult collectors have been crying out publicly for joints since who knows when. With the onslaught of direct access to Mattel thanks to social media, our cries were finally answered but in the most unexpected of ways when we found out about the Barbie Made to Move Yoga series back in April of 2016. Granted, there was no big announcement on the part of Mattel and some of us obsessive collectors really kind of stumbled upon them by accident as we scouted all the known websites looking for new dolls to add to our stashes. As soon as the doll tubers of the time found out about these dolls, we began vlogging our thoughts on them and stirred up the buzz worldwide. Broken Dolly TV even did a few giveaways because we were so excited at the chance of sharing these dolls with 22 points of articulation with you guys. Joints for days. People didn't know what to think. Are they a fluke? Will they be discontinued like so many other fan favorites? We predicted that these bodies were here to stay and would later take the place of standard articulated bodies as has happened in the past. Our prediction was half correct in that these jointed fashion figures have definitely been expanded and they're not going anywhere anytime soon. But we do still see those standard playline articulated bodies resurfacing occasionally. Number 3. Reviving Kelly and her friends Poor little Chelsea, or Kelsey, or Kelly, or whatever her name is these days, the young elementary aged sister of Barbie. Remember when we were always complaining that she has no friends and no new clothes? Unlike the little sisters of the past years when Mattel paid lots of attention to each age group of Barbie dolls having their own social circles. Back in the early 2000s and later, it was almost impossible to find any variation in these categories of dolls. However, that did not stop us from getting creative with customizing ideas and incorporating other brands to bring some variety to our little dolly collections. Now in recent years, we have seen an array of little ones in tons of skin tones, hairstyles, genders, including new fashion packs sold separately. Yes! Now if only we could convince Mattel to stop molding on their outfits we would have an almost perfect dollyverse. What could make them even better, you say? What could make them just flawless? Well, duh. Made to move joints, what else? If that ever happens, we owe you guys a new video with another handful of shockers. Number two, fashionistas with new ethnic skin tones. Barbie fashionistas went from looking something like this to suddenly looking like this. Mattel really gave us a run for our money when they showed us what they have always been capable of, adding diversity to our dollies' faces. Honestly, I think we really have excellent designers to thank for that, such as Carlisle Nuetta, Bill Greening and such, who truly contribute an intentional depiction of what people look like all around us, especially those of us who have had the good fortune of growing up in non-homogenous nations. We can truly appreciate this attention to detail and opening the door via fashionistas really paved the way for more diversity in other lines within the Barbie Mattel family, such as Barbie Extra's BMR collection, the variety of yoga dolls and other MTM sports lines, and the Shiro or Inspiring Women series. Not to mention all the beautiful skin tones of the male dolls that we have had the pleasure of witnessing. Honorary mention. 
body types for Ken. We can't be fair without mentioning Barbie's attempts at giving us more diversity with body types on Ken dolls. They did introduce two new body types for the guys as well, a broad Ken, the counterpart to curvy Barbie, and one body type labeled as slim, which is equivalent to petite Barbie dolls. Along with the new shapes, these guys also brought a new wave of facial sculpts and hairdos, even though the novelty wore off quick. With those stiff body Kens, I think they definitely opened up the pathway to what we all really were waiting for, which is made to move Ken bodies. We did get our first MTM bodies with those extra muscular Superman and Batman dolls, but the close fists and huge proportions made them less than appealing for body swappers. Again, thank you Carlisle Nuera, who once again saved the day with his latest project, the BMR 1959 collection, which brings us a handful of new Kens and different skin tones that all have regular Ken proportions made perfect with those sturdy MTM joints. Hopefully we can enjoy these guys with some darker skin tones soon as well. And recently we also saw more made to move bodies in the Barbie look series as well for the Ken dolls. Now for our number one pick, Hijab Barbie. Ibtihaj Muhammad, an American Muslima who has made a name for herself as a fencing athlete, has become immortalized in the Barbie Shiro series aka hijab barbie this is the first barbie sold to the public marketed wearing a hijab why is this shocking well for many of you watching this from countries with large islamic populations this doll is not presenting anything out of the ordinary but after the trauma of 9 11 many americans found it acceptable behavior to openly attack the characters of mu the muslim community at large knowing almost nothing about the culture or religion even though most american women who identify as muslims choose to wear the head covering out of modesty there's a giant misconception here that they are oppressed and forced to wear the covering as some kind of punishment for being born a woman i know it doesn't make any sense but hey when has america had a track record of doing things that actually make sense nonetheless barbie depicted a very free black muslim woman doing what she loves fencing in uniform while keeping true to her religious beliefs and covering her hair with a scarf. Hmm, where have we seen this look before? To be honest, this one should not have shocked American fans so much considering that other celebrities raised in Islam have already been depicted in Barbie form like the ever gorgeous runway model Gigi Hadid and the half Iranian brainiac actress Yara Shahidi or dolls that represent predominantly Muslim nations like Dolls of the World Indonesia, Malaysia and Morocco twice. Did you agree with our choices for the top shocking moments we experienced at the hands of Barbie Mattel? Let us know if we missed something juicy that you remember by leaving a comment below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this one, consider leaving a thumbs up. It's a free way to let us know when you don't have time to leave a comment. As usual, you can find all of our Dolly merch items in the info box. Be sure to check that out and even leave requests for images that you want to see Gino make us to enjoy together. Whatever you do, never grow out of loving your dolls. And we we will see you in the next one. This is Broken Dolly TV, Gypsy reporting once again, and until we meet next time, have a Dolly day.